are very fortunate in the School of Media to have such a dynamic community of creative people, everyone from storytellers to filmmakers, people that capture video, people that record audio, the people that put all the pieces together, the people that plan events and put them on. It's just such a great community of intelligent, hardworking, wonderful folks. And the Seneca School of Media Moxie Awards are intended to showcase the excellence that we have both in academic studies and leadership. Howdy Seneca Media fan, and welcome to the first annual Seneca School of Media Moxie Awards. Here's hoping it's not the only annual Seneca School of Media Moxie Awards. The awards are true to Seneca Media, digital. Because we didn't have the budget to host an actual award show. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that out loud. Oh, okay, let me try that again. The Moxies are a digital experience because we wanted to recognize the amazing work the students in our community do, but also understand that millennials would probably rather watch the show from their own homes in PJs, eating popcorn, Netflix style. Well, there's more to it than that. I think it's time to employ some crisis management. And by crisis management, we mean smoothly segue into our first awards of the show, the PR Awards. Public relations is an active program. By this I mean I'm not entirely sure when these students sleep. They take the saying, no rest for the wicked, to a whole new level. Although we can possibly attribute the lack of sleep to group work-induced nightmares and random bouts of hyperventilation triggered by the words press release. By getting to school at 6 a.m. for an event, they're sharing their experiences online on social media and conquering their fears of public speaking. They've done it all. While every student is equally exceptional, one of them has gone above and beyond in their short tenure at Seneca. That's right. The Excellence in Leadership Award for PR goes to the student who has ventured beyond the classroom to make an impact in the world, leave behind a legacy, and, a role, and be a role model for, for the next generation of students. Here are the nominees. To present the awards, we would like to invite on stage the Moxie Ladies. And the winner is Mark Nardi. Thank you so much. This kind of award really, really means a lot. It's been a hard semester for a lot of us, and we worked very, very hard uh, to get along. First thing is, obviously, thank you to Seneca Media for putting this whole thing together. Uh, it's fantastic and looks really, really, really impressive from my side. But also thanks to the Seneca instructors, especially the PR instructors who really invested their time and effort to get us going and growing as, and developing as professionals. Uh, and lastly, of course, I, I really want to thank the other students that I really share this with because at the end of the day, this is a leadership award and what's the point of a leader if you don't have anyone to work with? All of the pieces that I've done, everything is all done in cooperation. PR might be reputation driven, but it's a team sport. So. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mark. Our Academic Excellence Awards for PR goes to the student who has excelled in academics. Wow. You know what I mean. They haven't just excelled in academics. They've shown outstanding initiative, professionalism, and determination. This individual has the right mental attitude and isn't afraid to use it. And the nominees are. And the winner is Samantha Yunin. Um, 
so thank you so much. I am super flattered that the faculty thought of me. Um, and I just have to thank my peers, who I get to work with every single day. They're such a talented, intelligent group of individuals, um, and they make me so much better. So thank you again. Congratulations to Mark and Samantha for being exceptional in their quest to relating to the public. I really don't think that's how public relations works. Oh, like you know PR. You were spilling our deepest, darkest secrets to the world like two minutes ago. <laughs> Please. I didn't tell anyone that we're making our TAs work the cameras for this show because the prof says they were too cool for us. Shh, the profs are right there. Oh, I, I didn't see them. They're behind the scenes. You're not supposed to see them. That's unfair. Why doesn't the crew get some love? It is unfair. The behind the scenes crew is one of the most important components of any production. Wait. This is a cheeky segue into our next set of awards, isn't it? Duh. That was a prelude into the Television Broadcasting Awards, and an appropriate one at that. It's true that the students behind the camera are often not seen in the grand scheme of things, but they work just as hard to make a production come to life. From setting up the perfect frame to making sure the lighting is just right to make sure you look good, they are incredibly important. We wouldn't be able to do this show without them. We have seen the work these students do, and let me tell you, it's not easy. What may appear to be a two-minute shot, actually takes more than half an hour to prepare. The grit, determination, and hustle of these students is precisely what we want to recognize today. The Leadership Excellence in the Television Program Award goes to the individual who gives the word hustle a new meaning. Pretty sure millennials gave the actual word a different meaning already. You, want, you know what I mean. You say that a lot. <laughs> I really don't. <sighs> this student's first love is the camera. They don't just chase, out, chase after the shot in class, they're always finding something around them to capture within their lens. They are the epitome of love what you do and truly inspire everyone around them with their passion. They are constantly on the lookout for a new project, a way to help out, or a way to better themselves. Here are the nominees for excellence in leadership in the RTVT program. Russell Thank you. Uh, I want to say thanks to all the teachers that nominated me and putting through all my situations I gave them, uh, all the stress I put them through. I think I gave Kyle maybe a great hair or two, but that's okay. I also want to thank all the uh, awesome people at Seneca Media and for setting this up as well as uh, hosting this event and running it. And I want to say thanks to everybody who I impacted because without you guys changing, I wouldn't have gotten this award and I wouldn't have been, uh, been where I am without you guys. So to you guys, thanks. Our next award for academic excellence in the RTVT program. The recipient of this award has demonstrated over the years an unbeatable level of focus and skill in their work. They take pride in their work and make sure that everything they produce reaches a new benchmark of excellence. We are celebrating this student's precision and dedication to their work. Here are the nominees. The winner is Amrith Vishwanath. Thank you very much. Um, I feel very honored to receive this award. Um, I'd like to thank all my professors and peers who've supported me uh, throughout this journey. Thank you very much. Congratulations to Perry and Amrith. We are proud of the incredible actors you are about to become. Excuse me? They're not becoming actors. What are you talking about? That's what it says on the, on the teleprompter. There is no teleprompter. Why do the journalism classes get teleprompters and we don't? 
Well, the journalism students are kind of like our celebrities, you know? They're the ones in front of the camera, so obviously they get the teleprompters. Hmm. Yeah, well, even if we did have one, I doubt we could get anyone to control it anyways. We'd be saying the same stupid jokes over and over again. What do you mean control it? It's not automatic? Nope. There's someone scrolling through the script as the show rolls. Didn't you know that? Journalism isn't about just being a celebrity by reading the news in front of the camera. There's a lot more to the life of the journalist that meets the eye. <gasps> like what? Well, for starters, they would probably uh, write a far better and convincing script. Journalism is a multifaceted industry that requires students to hone several skills all at once. They research and investigate stories, write scripts for newscasts, and deliver the news to the general public. They're the life and soul behind Say News that keeps Seneca at York well informed. You will always find them out and about gathering stories and interviewing students on campus. Essentially, journalism will test your multitasking skills and then some. The recipient of the Excellence in Leadership Award for the Journalism Program is a student that is constantly on the hunt for the next story. They manage multiple news outlets and are often found awake at ungodly hours to get the story first. Whether it's news or sports or entertainment, this student can talk all about it. They are well versed and are confident enough to reach for every opportunity that comes their way to display their talent and improve themselves. Their dedication and work ethic is an inspiration and motivates everyone around them to work just as hard as they do. They are always there to offer a helping hand to those around them and they're true team players. The nominees for leadership excellence in journalism are... After a big day with the NBA trade deadline, the Toronto Raptors had a game to play and continued to chase the Boston Celtics for the coveted first seed in the Eastern Conference. Mold in the showers, suspicious stains on furniture, a creepy bellboy. If you spend any amount of time in hotels, these are the sort of things you have to get used to. Change in weather, Omar, what happened? Okay, Rebecca, so the weather's definitely singing a different tune than it was yesterday. It is free. The winner is Omar Kiros. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank the Seneca School of Media for this wonderful award. It is just the beginning for me of many awards to come. Uh, thank you again. <clears throat> Academic excellence in journalism means a lot of work. It means thorough, well-researched stories. It means hours spent scouring statistics and finding the right person to interview. So when the story is finally delivered, it packs the punch it should. The recipient of this award excels in delivering the story to perfection. They are always present in every class, regardless of how busy their schedule gets, and are always eager to learn and improve. The nominees for excellence in academics in the journalism program are Mental health is becoming increasingly talked about, especially among youth. But do young Canadians know how to support a loved one suffering from a mental illness? And the winner is Tamina Nazar. Hey, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to the Moxie Awards. I was away at work at CBC, but I'd still like to thank my friends and my family, as well as the incredible and supportive professors that I have here at Seneca College. Uh, thank you so much for this award. Congratulations, Omar and Tamina. Good morning, folks. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Jenna and Noah, live from the Seneca School of Media Studios. We are currently presenting awards to recognize the amazing work our students do here. We are taking requests all day. Be sure to call in for a chance to enter what the job. What are you doing? Well, our next category is radio broadcasting. I thought it'd be cool to introduce it like an RJ. <laughs> well, you're not an RJ, and we're on camera, not on the air. It was in the script. Well, one thing's for certain then, clearly not everyone is cut out for radio. I am so cut out for radio. <laughs> no, you can't only know how to talk on air to be in radio. It is an important part of it, but just like journalism, a lot more work goes into it. You have to know how to research, script, talk with the right amount of confidence to draw in an audience, and work on controls in the studio to produce the show. Have you seen those controls? Radio rules our airways with Say Radio here at Seneca at York. These students work hard to produce shows that are both informative and entertaining. They have a knack for sifting through piles of information and finding what the viewers would want and delivering it to perfection. From podcasts to live shows, these students can do it all. 
The excellence in leadership for radio goes to an individual who is tireless in their pursuit to create and produce content that their target audience is looking for. They venture outside of the classroom to produce shows and seize every opportunity to put their skills to use and make Seneca proud. They're the ones who stay after hours to help others put their shows together and show up on weekends to collect content if necessary. The nominees for leadership in excellence in the radio program are Because when regular people see these people, they don't treat them with the same respect that The winner is Michael Asifo. Uh, I actually don't know what to say, uh, winning an award. Um, I don't win much things in life. <laughs> and. You know, I, I just thank God and my parents um, for giving me the opportunity to go to school and get an education um, and just giving me the opportunity to try my best at things. And I think as long as you try your best, you can win not necessarily an award, but an award to you. And the award is when you try hard, it's a lot more rewarding than when you don't. Um, someone once said the easiest thing to do and get good at is quitting. And I think this is proof that, you know what, that may not be the most rewarding thing to do. Um, and yeah, so thank you to all my teachers as well, because without them, this wouldn't be possible. And you know what, I'm gonna thank the other students as well, because you all need, you, we need some help along the way and they helped me out. Yeah, God bless. The recipient of the Academic Excellence in Radio knows the ins and outs of the studio. They have the intangible skill required to produce exactly what the show the audience wants. They understand the industry and the changing dynamics and strive to adapt their work to the need of the current day. This student pours their heart and soul into every project and turns it out hit after hit. The nominees for Academic Excellence in Radio are... Just because it's going to be legal doesn't mean you can take total advantage. You are still impaired by smoking, as if you were drinking. When I came to school here, I felt like I didn't belong. Nobody played football, and I really missed that. Everybody was part of a hockey league or something. My brother and I spent... The winner is Janet Lamb. Um, I just love to thank Seneca Media for this opportunity. Um, being recognized means so much to me. Um, I also like to thank my instructors for always dealing with me, even when I'm late, always encouraging me, and especially my classmates who are more than classmates now, they're definitely my friends. Thank you. Our next category is so vast in nature that even our cheeky scriptwriter couldn't find a way to segue into this. There just isn't a way to do it right. All we can say is if these students were charged with putting on this award show, it would have looked a lot better. Ain't that the truth? Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, our final set of awards belong to the event and media production program. Okay, off script, what exactly is EMP? These students are well hidden behind the scenes, but are accredited to managing every event on campus. That's pretty much exactly what EMP is. These students are in charge of communicating with clients and finding out exactly what they want from their event. Then they go out and about charging around in the organized chaos of the world that is known as event management. These students are part of the entire process from pre to post production. They're the ones managing catering, presentations, communications, logistics, and entertainment. Whew. That is a lot of work. Yeah. Why didn't we get them to do this show again? There isn't even catering. Quit going off topic. We're almost done, and then we can go eat. Right. The Leadership Excellent Award in the EMP program goes to the student who has all their ducks in a row. They're the ones everyone else turns to for guidance. They know how to take charge and get stuff done. No amount of work phases them, and despite the acute stress they are put through, they do everything with a smile. 
They truly love this crazy amount of work that they have to do. And inspire everyone, and I mean everyone. Not just the people in the program to quit complaining and just do their work. The nominees are... And the winner is Aran Birya. Thank you. I want to thank Seneca for nominating me for this award. I want to thank all my professors for teaching me life lessons and my friends and family for always supporting me. Thank you for the nomination and the award. Academic excellence in EMP means a lot of things. It means participation, excellence, and accuracy. These individuals do everything with perfection and fulfill every role they're given with finesse. When they're in charge of something, it's executed with style and aplomb. They're the ones who people vie to work with because they're just so darn good at their job. The nominees are... Winner is Tracy Lum. Thank you. Thanks. I'm really thankful for this award. Um, hard work totally pays off. Um, I'd like to thank my parents for really supporting my decision to come into this program, as well as all the faculty and the students that really lifted me up in this program. So thanks so much. And that brings the first annual Moxie Awards to an end. We've joked and sassed about this show from the start, but at its heart, our aim is to celebrate the amazing work our students do. We are a community, and of course, when we see members going above and beyond and working so hard to excel and succeed, we know it has to be appreciated. Our intention is to continue rewarding our students for their passion and hard work. So kindly, donate. Oh to my them. God, we were only kidding when we said all those things. There are so many incredibly talented people who were responsible for creating this amazing show just the way we had envisioned it. We want to extend our warmest of gratitude to the program coordinators and faculty who collaborated with us through the entire process. We want to thank our chair, Beth Agnew, who supported us and all of our over-the-top visions with her continued optimism and advice. And a big shout out goes to Glenn Heshka and his orange shirt, who are both here, and his TV crew for helping us put this together. And a final thank you to Martin Waxman for his expertise and guidance. And with that, we sign off for this year. A big congratulations to our nominees and winners. Seneca Media, keep shining and hustle on.